Hi, kids. Welcome back to part two of Koalas. I'm Brian, and we are continuing our story about koalas. Now, as you know from part one, there are many letters between Hank, a little boy, and his grandparents. His grandparents sent Hank a postcard in part one. Hank sent a letter to his grandparents. Now, in part two, the grandparents are sending a letter back to Hank. This is the letter, and this letter tells us more about koalas. We have some interesting information about koalas, and we have a special guest. Do you remember Sari's koala? Sari made a koala on her show when she did the activities. Here is Sari's koala. So Sari's koala, hello guys, will help us read the letter, and we can learn more about koalas from the letter and looking at Sari's koala. Let's begin, okay? Okay. Okay, let's begin. Dear Hank, it's a letter. It's a letter. So we start it with the name, and we have some interesting information. A baby koala is called a joey. Sarah's koala. Do you have a joey? Yes, I do. Look, here is the joey from Sarah's koala. The joey is right here, and the joey came out of this pocket, the pouch. Here is the baby. Hello, I'm just a little baby. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so Sari's koala and her little baby. The baby is called a joey. The baby lives inside the mother's pouch, and if you can see. This is the pouch here, right? Now, there's something interesting about koalas. I want to tell you. We think the pouch is like this, but actually, the pouch is upside down. The pouch is actually upside down. Of course, the koala is right side up, but we have to turn the pouch like this. So the joey actually sticks out of the pouch. Upside down. A lot of people don't know that, but that's an interesting thing about koalas. How does the joey stay inside the pouch? You think he would fall out? Well, the joey has strong arms, so he can hold on inside the pouch. Also, the mama koala has muscles. Has a muscle that she can hold the pouch closed, so the joey doesn't fall out. Very interesting. Okay, let's continue. The joey lives in its mother's pouch. It drinks its mother's milk inside the pouch. It drinks the milk. The joey grows bigger. When the joey gets too big. He can't stay in the pouch. Then he comes around and he rides on Mama's back. Right, so it's like this. Here's here's Mama, and the Joey rides on Mama's back. It learns to eat gum leaves. Remember, koalas eat gum leaves from the gum tree. So the Joey learns how to eat. Gum leaves. Then love grandma and grandpa. P.S. Here are some more koala things. So there are more koala things. Remember, Hank wants to collect many koalas. So grandma and grandpa send him more things to collect. What kinds of things? Here is a koala souvenir. 
souvenir. A souvenir is something you buy when you go on a trip and you want to remember the trip. Oh, this is cool. You buy it, you keep it. When you look at it, ah, I remember the trip. That's a souvenir. <clears throat> the souvenir here shows us Australia and koala. Here is a picture of the koala and the joey riding on the mother's back. Probably Hank drew that picture. And here we have another picture of a joey on the mother's back. And this is another thing that Hank is collecting. My koala bookmark. It's a bookmark. A bookmark, of course, is check Chekalpi. check calpi. If you're reading a book, right, you can put a mark. When you finish reading, time to go to bed, put your bookmark in the book, close the book. In the morning, you know where you are in the book. So that's a bookmark. Let's talk a little bit more about the pouch, right? I tried to show you with Ceres uh, Koala, but this is a good picture. <laughs> It's an interesting picture. Here's the mama koala. And what do you see right in the middle of the picture? You see a face. It's a koala baby's face. It's a joey's face. Here is the pouch. And the pouch just looks like it's actually upside down, right? But the, the koala, uh, the joey, is kind of inside the pouch but turned around. We can see his face right there. That's really interesting. Remember, the mama koala has a muscle here so she can keep the pouch tight so the joey doesn't fall out. That's very important, right? Okay. So Hank writes a letter back to Grandma and Grandpa. Thank you for my koala things. Mom took me to the zoo. Zoo. We saw some koalas there. I found out, I learned, that koalas do not need to drink water. <gasps> Did you know that? Do you need to drink water? Of course, you should drink a lot of water every day. We all should drink a lot of water every day. But, Koalas do not need to. They don't have to drink water. Why not? Well, they get their water from the leaves of the tree. Koalas are really amazing animals. They changed their body to fit their home. So they, there's not a lot of water in Australia. It doesn't rain a lot. So koalas can survive by getting their water from the leaves. Okay, so koalas do not need to drink water. Love, Hank. P.S. P.S. What is P.S.? P.S. is postscript. It means after the letter, you add another note. Maybe you write the letter, and then when you finish, you go, oh, oh I had another idea. Hanado senga hei iseo. I have another idea. So I'm going to add the idea at the bottom of the letter. That is P.S. I have another idea or I have another question. What is Hank's question? Are koalas in trouble. Are koalas in trouble? What does that mean? Well, it's sad, but many animals in the world today are in trouble. Their numbers are getting less and less. Maybe someday they'll all go, disappear. They'll be gone. We have to be careful we should protect some of these animals. We should protect koalas because their numbers are getting less and less. And 
Maybe one day there will be no more koalas. So if koalas are in trouble, that means their numbers are very few. There are not many koalas. So Hank asks that question. He, maybe he learned something about koalas and he wants to know, are koalas in trouble? Okay, here is Hank here. We can see him here. And he went to the zoo, so he was able to hold a koala at the zoo. Some zoos allow you to touch the animals. Maybe at this zoo, Hank could hold a koala. And here's a picture of him and the koala. Me and a koala. Also, another thing that Hank collected is his koala stamp pen. So that's very interesting. It's a pen with a koala stamp. A stamp is like dojang, right? You can take the stamp and put ink on it and, and put it on a paper and it leaves a picture of a koala. So it's his koala stamp pen. Oh, that's very neat. That's pretty cool. And what do we see here? We see a poster of a picture of a koala and here help save koalas. Ah, before Hank asked, are koalas in danger? Yes, they are in danger and people try to save to protect the koalas. But first, you have to tell other people that koalas are in danger. So, we make a poster and we say, help save koalas. It's sad, but there are many animals that need our help. So we can see many of these kinds of posters. Help save owls. Help save whales. So first thing we need to do is tell other people we need to save these animals. They are in trouble. Okay, well, we're at the end of part two. In part three, we'll talk about some ways to help save koalas. That will be very interesting. So, I hope I see you there. See you next time. Take care.